Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own personal dashboard. This will allow you to organize and get quick access to your favorite bookmarks, notes, and other widgets you might want to use. As you can see from my personal dashboard, I have my favorite bookmarks organized into categories. I also have other links that I've just added here. I've also added other links, bookmarks, and widgets to other pages. So this is all made possible by a Google Chrome extension called Start Me. And now I'm gonna show you how to download the Chrome extension, add widgets, bookmarks, and also pages. So, First, we're gonna head over to the Chrome Web Store and search for start.me. Add this to Chrome, and then add the extension. Now, I don't recommend signing up this way as you're unable to sign up using Google or Facebook. So I'm gonna recommend you closing out of this. And then they give you a dummy account which you can sign out of by clicking the profile picture here and then sign out and then log me out forever. And now just close the tab and now just click on the extension. Now this will allow us to sign up using Google or Facebook. So I'm gonna sign up and click Google Name, language, location, that's all fine for me. Continue, it's for myself. I'm gonna choose a blank page. Okay, and now you can read some tips. I'm gonna click off these. Okay, so this is my new page, as you can see. New page here. I can add widgets, build page with wizard, or import my bookmarks. So, if you have bookmarks already in Safari, for example, or Google Chrome, you can add them here and then organize them into categories. Okay, so this is the new page and I'm gonna give the new page a name. So let's click on new page and then click on the pencil and let's give it a name, my teaching websites. Okay, give that a background. I'm gonna choose an image. The sunset looks nice. And I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna add a few widgets. Add widget. Now the widgets you can have are bookmarks, newsfeed, notes, to-do lists, uh, embed, and other widgets. The other widgets, the majority are the, for the pro version, which you must pay for. I'm gonna add my first widget, which is the bookmarks. Cool. Let's give this a name, video and social websites. You can add the actual link here, click in here and then copy and paste it in. But I'm gonna show you another way on how you add bookmarks on the go. So imagine you are looking for new websites and you come across something great and you wanna save that bookmark. Well, I'm gonna show you now how to do it. So I'm gonna close this, it will save. Okay, now if I click a new tab, then what happens is your dashboard just pops up, which is great. And I'm gonna go on maybe, let's say, go to YouTube. So now I wanna save this website, it's YouTube. So I click on the extension. There we are, I'm gonna keep it the same name. Select a widget where it will go. It's gonna go in videos and social websites. Add to bookmark. If I close that down now, if I refresh the page, it's been added here. Let's add another one, Facebook. Video and social, excellent. Refresh the page. 
Okay, cool. I have YouTube and Facebook. Now it's a list, which I don't really like. So you can edit this. So click on the three dots here, go to settings, and now you have some advanced options where you can change the size of, of, of the icon or show it as icons, and the icon size is probably medium or small, whatever you prefer, really. Okay, save. Okay, uh, let's add another widget. I've got a space here for a widget and a space here. That's three, so I'll have three columns. Maybe you want four columns. So it's click on your page, uh, click on the pen for that page, and then give it four columns or maybe five. Save that. And now I have more columns. Great, so let's maybe add another widget. I'm gonna add maybe a notes widget here. Call this uh, quick notes. Excellent, done. Okay, good. So then you continue adding bookmarks and widgets. Um, to add a page, we can click on the pages here and create a new page. And maybe this page, give it a name, your games page of all your online games, create that page, and there you go. You can continue, now you can start to add new widgets. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna show you now one little tip now. So imagine in the morning or before you start work, you wanna open up a number of widgets. Well, as you can see here in the video and social websites, bookmarks, you've got this symbol here. And if I click that, both the apps will open at the same time, which saves me valuable time uh, when I'm beginning my day. Excellent. Well, I hope this has helped and it will save you time with all your bookmarking and keeping it all organized. Uh, I've only shown you uh, some of the basic features. If any questions for me, uh, leave them below and please subscribe and thanks for watching.